A cycloaddition is a pericyclic chemical reaction in which two or more unsaturated molecules or parts of the same molecule combine with the formation of a cyclic adduct in which there is net reduction of the bond multiplicity. The resulting reaction is a cyclization reaction. Many but not all cycloadditions are concerted. As a class of addition reactions, cycloadditions permit carbon-carbon bond formation without the use of a nucleophile or electrophile. Cycloadditions can be described using two systems of notations. An older but still common notation is based on the size of linear arrangements of atoms in the reactants. It uses parenthesis with an I plus J plus something where the variables I and J are the numbers of linear atoms in each reactant. The product is a cycle of size I plus J. In this system, the standard Diels-Alder reaction, a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition, the 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition is a 3 plus 2 cycloaddition and cyclopropanation of a carbene with an alkene is a 2 plus 1 cycloaddition. A more recent IUPAC preferred notation uses square brackets to indicate the number of electrons rather than the number of carbon atoms involved in the formation of the products. In the I plus J notation, the standard Diels-Alder reaction is a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. The 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition is 4 plus 2. After studying this module, you shall be able to know what are cycloaddition reactions, learn mechanism of cycloaddition reactions, identify factors influencing Diels-Alder reaction, evaluate mechanism of 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition and analyze the stereochemistry of product formation in cycloaddition reactions. Cycloaddition reaction is a reaction in which two reactants form a cyclic product. Cycloaddition of two different pi bonds containing molecules to form a cyclic compound are a special class of pericyclic reactions. For cycloaddition reaction, each of the reactants loses a pi bond and the resulting cyclic product has two new sigma bonds. With a few exceptions, cycloaddition are concerted reactions. As a class of addition reactions, cycloaddition allows carbon-carbon bond formation without the use of a nucleophile or electrophile. Among the pericyclic reactions, cycloadditions are most abundant and useful set of reactions. Following is an example of, of 4 plus 2 cycloaddition known as Diels-Alder reaction. Here, as you can see, a diene combines with a dienophile resulting in the adduct formation which is a six-membered cyclic ring. Now let us talk about the stereochemistry and Woodward-Hoffman rules for cycloaddition. Cycloaddition reactions involve bond formation at the ends of both the reacting molecules, that is the diene and the dienophile. This requires proper orientation of orbitals so that effective overlap may give rise to product formation. For the Diels-Alder reaction between butadiene and ethene, 
The p orbitals must therefore approach each other head on. Of note is the fact that the two new bonds forming at C1 and C4 of the diene are being formed at the bottom surface of the conjugated diene. Reactions where the new bonds being formed are on the same surface are called suprafacial on that component. Since the dienophile also the new bonds are being formed at the same surface, so the reaction is suprafacial on both the diene and the dienophile as well. On the other hand, anterofacial reaction requires bond formation between orbitals at two different surfaces. Diagrammatically, this is depicted. You can see suprafacial and antrafacial reactions for 4 plus 2 cycloadditions. The Woodward Hoffman rules for cycloaddition predict feasibility of reaction and stereochemistry of product formed. Both supra and supra and supra and antra combinations are allowed based on orbital symmetry. However, the geometric constraint associated with antra process makes it impossible for the reaction to take place. Therefore, almost all pericyclic cycloaddition reactions go by suprafacial mode on both the components. That is, if the diene with substituents at each end forms new bonds to one surface, the product will have a preserved stereochemistry. In the following example, the trans-trans diene and diethyl acetylene dicarboxylate give the adduct which has cis-phenyl substituents on the cyclohexane ring formed. Next we have the table, table 1, which shows the Woodward-Hoffman rules for cycloaddition. When I plus J is 4N and the reaction is thermal, we can have supra-antra or antra-supra, whereas if the reaction is to be carried out photochemically, it will be supra-supra or antra-antra. For a Ni plus J 4N plus 2 system, under thermal conditions, it will be supra-supra or antra-antra, whereas under photochemical conditions, it would be supra-antra or antra-supra. Another example of Diels-Alder reaction with preserved stereochemistry of products is reaction of malleate and fumarate esters with butadiene to give diastereomeric products. As you can see, the first reaction gives 68%, the second reaction gives a yield of 95%. Such reactions where one stereoisomer gives rise to only one stereoisomeric product, these are called stereospecific in nature. This is amongst the most important features of Diels-Alder reaction as the reaction involves creation of four new stereocenters with stereospecificity. In Diels-Alder reaction, when a conjugated system carries a substituent Z, then during the reaction, it may orient itself pointing away from the conjugated system of the other component or it may sit under it. The first situation is called exo mode of attack and the second situation is called 
endo mode of attack. In the endo conformation, there might be repulsion between the substituent Z and the P orbitals. However, for Diels-Alder reaction, such endo mode of attack has been experimentally observed. The most widely accepted explanation for the origin of endo mode of attack is a favorable interaction between the dienophile substituents pi system and the dienes though dipolar and van der Waals interactions which are collectively called as secondary orbital effects. Next, let us talk about the classes of cycloaddition reactions. These are Diels-Alder reaction, 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition, 4 plus 2 cycloaddition of cations and anions, and 2 plus 2 addition of ketenes. Let us start by talking about the Diels-Alder reaction. The most important type of cycloaddition reactions are Diels-Alder reactions. It is defined as the cycloaddition between a conjugated diene and a dienophile, that is 4 plus 2, leading to formation of a six-membered cyclic product. Like other pericyclic reactions, Diels-Alder reactions are concerted and stereospecific. That is, stereochemical information in the reactants is retained in the products. The dienophile which are in configuration E and Z results in adducts which has stereochemistry syn or anti respectively. The reaction is slow for unsubstituted dienophiles and rate of reaction is enhanced by attaching suitable electron withdrawing substituents like carbonyl, nitrile and nitro at the terminal alkenes. Substitution on the diene also enhances rate of reaction, provided the substituents are electron donating like methyl, alkoxy and amine to name a few. Following are examples of some reactions where due to the change in nature of the dienophile, there were drastic changes in the rate of reaction. As you can see, the first reaction is completed in a time of 10 days. The second reaction is also 4 plus 2 but is completed in 72 hours with a 71% yield. Whereas the third reaction is completed in a time duration of 5 hours. For the dienes, along with electron donating substituents, cyclization also greatly enhances the rate of cycloaddition reactions, owing to proper geometric orientation of double bonds. This is because a diene can participate in Diels-Alder reaction only when it is in the S-cis conformation. If it were to react in the S trans conformation, then the resulting cyclohexene would have a trans double bond in the cyclohexene system, which is a very high energy situation. The region selectivity of Diels-Alder reaction depends on the number and nature of substituent on diene and dienophile along with the reaction conditions such as catalyst, temperature, pressure, solvent, etc. Generally, 1 and 2 substituted butadienes react with monosubstituted dienophiles.
to give mainly ortho and para adducts respectively. Even with a small substituent such as methyl, the degree of regioselectivity is high. The important feature of this pattern is the fact that whether a substituent is electron withdrawing or donating, it holds good for almost all combinations. As you can see, two reactions. Although by definition, pericyclic reactions don't need catalyst, nevertheless, it has been shown that Lewis acids such as zinc chloride, tin chloride and aluminium chloride can enhance rate of a normal Diels-Alder reaction by coordination to the dieno phi. In some cases, Lewis acid catalysis has also been shown to enable Diels-Alder reactions to proceed at low temperatures that is without thermal activation. Heterodiels-Alder reactions are also known where at least one of the reactants, the diene or dienophile, has a heteroatom such as nitrogen, oxygen or sulfur taking part in the cycloaddition reaction. An example, Diels-Alder reactions can be made to take place in reverse direction, that is, retro Diels-Alder reactions when the products do not react with each other rapidly. The retro Diels-Alder reaction proceeds with ease. If the diene or dienophile has some special stabilization present, then such as an extrusion of stable N2 molecule. Although Diels-Alder reactions are reversible, they find utility in synthesis of a number of important natural products such as cortisone, which is a steroid, tetracycline, which is an antibiotic, taxol, it is an anti-cancer agent, Reserpine, it is an alkaloid and secondary metabolites such as prostaglandins. Next, let us talk about 1,3 dipolar cycloaddition. Molecules with 1,3 dipoles react with alkenes or alkynes or their heteroatom substituted analogues in a 3 plus 2 cycloaddition fashion giving rise to cyclic products. Such reactions are quite useful in the synthesis of alkaloids, including asymmetric synthesis. The dipolar compounds have a sequence of three atoms, say A, B, C, of which A has a sextet of electrons in the outer shell and C an octet with at least one unshaded pair. One three dipolar compounds can be classified into two major types. A. Those compounds where the double bond in the canonical form is on the sextet atom and the other canonical form has a triple bond on that atom. For example, nitrous oxide, nitrile violite and azite. The second category that is B are those molecules in which the dipolar canonical form has a single bond on the sextet atom and the other form has a double bond. Some of the common examples are azomethene, azoxy compounds and carbonyl oxide. The structure of alkenes undergoing 1,3 dipolar addition influences the cycloaddition reaction as well. The reactions are concerted one step and proceed with stereospecific syn mechanism. 
as with all other pericyclic reactions, the mechanism and rate of cycloaddition do not vary much with changes in solvent. Although for some reactions, rate acceleration has been reported in ionic liquids. As an example of 3 plus 2 cycloaddition, substituted ethane undergoes 1,3 dipolar addition with azides to give triazoles. As shown, the 1,3 dipolar reagents may be generated by the in situ opening of a three member ring system. As an example, aziridines open to give a zwitter ion which can add to activated double bonds to give pyrrolidines. 1,3 dipolar molecules can be generated in C2. For example, nitrile oxide can be generated in C2 to react with methyl acrylate to give the cyclic product as shown. Next, let us talk of the 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reactions of cations and anions. Conjugated ions like allyl cations, allyl anions and pentadienyl cations are also capable of cycloaddition reactions. In the following reactions, allyl cation is generated in C2 and it acts as a two electron component. As can be seen. Next, let us talk about 2 plus 2 addition of ketenes. Ketenes react with dienophiles to give 2 plus 2 four member or larger rings under thermal activation. Conjugated ketenes may participate as 4 pi partners in 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reactions as well. The unique transition state geometry of 2 plus 2 ketene cycloadditions has important stereochemical consequences as ketenes are able to undergo cycloaddition via antrafacial geometry. This geometry allows heavier substituents on the ketene to end up on the more sterically hindered face of the cyclobutanone ring. In the transition state for cyclization, the small substituents point towards the alkene. There are some cycloaddition reactions that involve more than 6 electrons. Notably, 8 plus 2 and 6 plus 4 reactions have been observed in suitable substrates. As an example, heptafulvalene reacts with dimethyl acetylene dicarboxylate to give the 8 plus 2 adduct. A thermal pericyclic cycloaddition is allowed if the total number of electrons is 4n plus 2, where n is an integer. When the electron count is 4n, then the reaction is forbidden. For photochemical cycloaddition, reverse is true, that is, if the total count is 4n, then the cycloaddition is feasible. As a result, alkenes give four member ring in photocycloaddition by self-coupling or by cross-coupling. The difficult part in such photochemical reactions is the fact that photoactivation can put lots of energy into the electronically excited state of the molecules. Therefore, secondary reactions also become feasible. Let us try to do some examples on cycloaddition reactions. The most common cycloaddition reaction is the 4 plus 2 cyclization known as the Diels-Alder reaction. In Diels-Alder terminology, the two reactants are referred to as the diene 
and the dieno phi. Diagram shows two examples of 4 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition and in the second equation a subsequent light induced 2 pi plus 2 pi cycloaddition. In each case the diene reactant is colored blue and the new sigma bonds in the adduct are colored red. The stereospecificity of these reactions should be evident. In the first example, the acetoxy substituents of the diene have identical E configurations and they remain cis to each other in the cyclic adduct. Likewise, the ester substituents on the dienophile have a trans configuration which is maintained in the adduct. The reactants in the second equation are both monocyclic, so the cycloaddition adduct has three rings. The orientation of the quinone six-membered ring with respect to bicycloheptane system is endo, which means it is oriented cis to the longest or more unsaturated bridge. The alternative configuration is called exo. Since the dienophile, that is the quinone, has two activated double bonds, a second cycloaddition reaction is possible, provided sufficient diene is supplied. The second cycloaddition is slower than the first, so the monoadduct shown in the figure here is easily prepared in good yields. Although this 4 plus 2 product is stable to further heating, it undergoes a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition when exposed to sunlight. Note the loss of two carbon-carbon pi bonds and the formation of two sigma bonds during this transformation. Also note that the pi subscript is often omitted from the M plus N notation for the majority of cycloadditions involving the pi electron systems. Reaction 3 is an intramolecular Diels-Alder reaction. Since the diene and dienophile are joined by a chain of atoms, the resulting 4 plus 2 cycloaddition actually forms two new rings, one from the cycloaddition and the other from the linking chain. Once again, the addition is stereospecific, ignoring the isopropyl substituent, the ring fusion being cis and endo. Let us now summarize this module. Cycloadditions are reactions between the two different pi bond containing molecules, a diene which is electron rich and a dienophile which is electron deficient to form a cyclic product. Diels-Alder reactions are 4 plus 2 cycloadditions that are stereospecific and regioselective. Cycloadditions are allowed with both supra-supra and supra-antra combination. Diels-Alder reactions are regioselective where 1 and 2 substituted butadienes react with monosubstituted dienophiles to give mainly ortho and para products respectively. The heterodiels-alder reaction allows formation of six-member ring by interaction of heterodienes and dienophiles. Retrodiels-alder reactions also take place when the diene or dienophile has some stabilizing factor such as extrusion of stable molecules such as nitrogen or formation of aromatic ring. Molecules with 1,3 dipoles react with alkenes or alkynes or the heteroatom substituted analog in a 3 plus 2 cycloaddition fashion, giving rise to cyclic 5 member products. Ketenes are able to undergo 2 plus 2 cycloaddition via antrafacial geometry. Cycloaddition reactions with more than 6 electrons such as 8 plus 2 or 6 plus 4 are possible.